Good evening. It's my distinct privilege and honor to introduce to you the valedictorian of the Lyndhurst High School graduating class of 2018, Alyssa Capasso. At this time, I introduce to you the class president of the Lindhurst High School class of 2018, Jillian Kinsella. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for attending the class of 2018's graduation ceremony. I would like to thank you all for coming to this very special day. Additionally, I would like to thank all of our teachers, administrators, and LHS staff who have helped us in some way to get to this exact moment. I also want to thank the class of 2018 for giving me memories I will not forget. I cannot continue this speech without giving my family a shout out for shaping me into the person I have become. Thank you. Today, we are all here celebrating our once-in-a-lifetime high school graduation. While we all sit here, I have to ask you to focus on what is going on right now and be present. Soak in everything that I am saying and the environment we are in. This is where our childhood ends and we are sent off to begin our adulthood full of success and independence. In this moment, do not think that this journey has come to an end. Instead, look around and think, I am here, we are here, now, together. Many of us tend to anticipate the future or dwell on the past instead of admiring the present. Henry David Thoreau once said, you must live in the present, launch yourself on every wave, find your eternity in each moment. Fools stand on their island of opportunities and look toward another land. There is no other land, there is no other life but this. Our land of opportunity is the one we are given right now. So use these moments to be grateful and focus on what is there in front of you at this moment. Thank you.
it is my privilege to present to you the salutatorian of the Lindhurst High School class of 2018, Rayanne Fernandez. I once again present to you the Lindhurst High School class of 2018 valedictorian Alyssa Capasso. Beside me. As humans, 
we tend to feel insignificant in terms of the vast nature of the universe. We fail to recognize the presence that our voices and our opinions can have on the environment which surrounds us. Often we let ourselves become invisible, part of the white noise which fills the background of the earth. In an age of technology, it is easy to find ourselves living behind a screen, numb to the issues which plague our world. Now is the time to be present. In 2018 alone, there have been 23 school shootings in the United States. Now is the time to be present. Looking into a sea of blue graduation gowns, it is easy to be deceived by perception. It is if each person can blend into the royal blue gown which adorn our body. But do, but do not be mistaken. The voices of the people behind me have enough impact to change the present and the future. And I urge you to feel discontent, to yearn for your reform. This generation and the classmates before me will demand for their presence to be heard. And I urge you to do the same. Graduates, I encourage you to look back on the past four years, not only upon memory, but upon the individuals, the activities, and the faculty who have made a presence in your life. It could be a sports team, like swim, football, volleyball, or track, or an activity like band, where expressive creativity is celebrated. It could be a club or a class, like Spanish or, or English. Laughter, friendship, and determination have brought each of us here, and these past four years have undoubtedly made an impact on each one of you. But now is the time to make your presence known in the world. As young adults, entering a new chapter in life, each one of you has the power to succeed and thrive. And I know that the experiences which await us in life will exceed the amazing opportunities given to us at LHS. Demand for your voice to be heard and leave here knowing that it is in your full capability to change the world with your presence. Thank you.
this time, we join me in welcoming our keynote speaker and Lindhurst Board of Education member, Mr. James Donovan. Good evening. I know I look like I'm going to say a homily, but trust me, I won't. Uh, what is, to give you keynote speech, I, I was kind of moved, and I was also, I have to be honest with you, very scared. And I'm not a speech writer, I'm not a very good orator, but I am a very good storyteller. And I'm going to share with you a story, something that goes full circle, and kids, you, you guys will all appreciate that, girls. My first time ever going to a high school graduation was around 1969-1970. My cousin Ruthie was graduating from Mother C. And like yesterday, I'm saying yesterday, it was like 159 degrees, humid, hot. The thing was, back then, like all you guys, all our families came because it was such a big event. A high school graduation was a big event in my family. So of course, being about four or five years old myself, at the time, I had no interest in what was going on, nothing whatsoever, and my mother had me in his polyester navy suit. All right, I'm sure some of you out there, your moms did that to you, my age. 
I had this older cousin, Michael, five years older than He was deviant. Eddie Haskell, you name it. Bart Simpson was based on my cousin, Michael. So Michael and I had ants in our pants. And really hot, what do we go do? Is we go around, away from the field, and we find this house. Tiny little house with a shed, water hose, and the door's open. So Michael and I started squirting each other with the water hose because it's 155 degrees. We're dying, we're sweating everywhere. Then we started turning all the knobs. We started walking back when we got all muddy. And I started looking. And back then, Mother Seed was an old girl school. So they all wore these white gowns. And it was mass hysteria. Everybody's running around like crazy. Everybody was screaming and yelling. And I hear my cousin Michael behind me go, oh my God, we're in trouble. How are we in trouble? I'm like four or five years old. And I look up in the stands, and my mother's like in the back row, laser beam on the foot the right hand. I knew it, full circle. Those knobs were the sprinkler system. We turned it on. So who would have thought, way back then, here I am now giving a keynote speech. How about that, Ron? <laughs> um, just some things for this class. I love this class. I love this high school. And you guys are so impressive. And I'm going to just give a couple shouts out here. Particularly the Lighthouse. The newspaper. I used to have a subscription to the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, and the Star Ledger. Thank you for saving me a lot of money. You're a voice, presently, right now, that we all need to hear, better yet, listen. I'm very impressed with you guys. You did your homework before you put it in writing. It was fantastic. Keep doing, keep doing the good work, juniors. Behind them, keep it going. The plays. A few years back, and I'll use one play in particular, I went to see Little Shop of Horror. I saw it again this fall. I liked it way better on Broadway. It was fantastic, a job well done, a whole entire production, it was very well professionally done. <coughs> the band. <laughs> I am a gigantic Ohio State fan. A lot of Michigan people know that. I'm a huge Ohio State fan. And I joke around with my old Ohio friends, and I say, you guys, are the best dad man in the land. Right. Of course, I gotta give you some advice. All right? Major stepping stone for you guys. I'm gonna ask you a favor, a couple favors. That's what it's Be open. Listen. Observe. Mark Twain said, God gave you two eyes, two ears, and one mouth. That's a good ratio, right? Two, help others. And if you need help, ask. You'll be surprised. Three, follow what you love. Follow your passion. Just trust me, it will never, ever become a job. And don't be afraid to fail. Don't ever be afraid to fail. If you fall, get right back up. Plenty of us been there. We've done it before. Again, I congratulate you to the class of 2018. God bless you, and I look forward to seeing you succeed. It is a pleasure for me as assistant principal to certify 
that the members of the class of 2018 have met all the requirements of the Lynnhurst School District and the New Jersey Department of Education. Mrs. DeMarco, I present to you the Lynnhurst High School graduating class of 2018. of the class of 2018 have met all the requirements of the Lyndhurst School District and the New Jersey Department of Education. Mr. Donovan, I present to you the Lyndhurst High School graduating class of 2018. Alyssa Capasso. Garcia.
Danielle Anzanaco. <laughs> Jennifer Arancio. <laughs> Amanda Arado. <laughs> Angel C. Arado. Archo Aspinanza. Danielle A. Astorga. Sarah Atia. Kayla Aviles. Adrian Baranowski. <laughs> Vanessa Leanne Bauer. <laughs> Terrence S. Eby. <laughs> Victoria Barrios. <laughs> Carmelina Blasi. James Michael Bogai Jr. Alexis Ray Brandon. Nicole Catherine Bruno. Jeremy Calcano. <laughs> Donald Callahan. <laughs> Bella Lauren Calvi. <laughs> Trazon Campbell. Grace Capiello. Yeah. Laura Caraballo. Yeah. Justin Carmona. Yeah. Julianne Carmona. Andrea Sequentes. Adam Christopher Conley. Bernard Dominic Consago III. Johan E. Contreras. Karina Yunus Traspa. Nicholas Michael Cotola. <laughs> Michael A. Delia. <laughs> Jordan Diabru. <laughs> Louis G. Delaquilla. <laughs> Ryan Dennis. <laughs> Dalton DePinto. <laughs> Christina DeLaBertis.
Vincent Detanto.
Ramos. Yeah. Alicia Ramos.
Emmanuel Villa. to every choice you make in life. When your future goals begins to turn into achievements, let the actions themselves be your motivating force. Do something because you want to at that given moment, not because you just want the end result of it. For most of us, this will be our last time here together. Soon, this present will be in the past, so remember to feel what you feel at this moment. Right now, let's just be here with each other, present. Will the class of 2018 please rise? As we move our tassels from left to right, it now signifies that we are graduates. Thank <laughs> you. 